Welcome to another video, I think this is my third video, but um, today we're going to be talking about my little pastime, which is golfing, as you can see, got flag here, it's a bit big, but, uh, there we go, got a lot of clubs in it, and up here from around the side, so basically, um, on this channel, there's going to be a lot of construction videos, a lot of bricklaying videos, stuff like that, as much as I can, but um, there's going to be a few, I'm going to try and sneak a few little golf videos in there, so um, yeah, today we're going to do two part series just gonna be two videos straight up straight serious straight series and um yeah so i'm gonna do what's in my bag which is gonna be one video is gonna be about clubs this video is gonna be a what's in my bag series so this video is gonna be about the clubs the next video that i'm gonna film later on today or tomorrow is gonna be about what's inside the actual pockets of the bag so yeah pretty straightforward and uh Away. Pretty easy video to follow, hope you all enjoy it. Okay, so we're going to start with the big boys, the drivers. I'm going to get them all out. So we have one, two, my new one I got today when this video is being filmed, three, four, four drivers in this bag. So we're going to start with a little pine tea corn. When I first got this, I mistook it for a wood, but it's a driver. Just to clarify, a little pine tea, a titanium alloy one. Pretty bog standard. Use this one a little bit. Not masses, though. But would like to get a bit more use out of it. Next one moving on to is the Dunlop driver. Eh. There we go. Actually, there's a thought. Switch these covers around. Because this is a Dunlop cover for a Dunlop driver. I don't know why I put it on the other one. But this is a Dunlop one. Nice driver. Little tiny ding there. Nothing huge. That was actually from when I was at a course. And I smacked my club on a rock. Didn't mean to do that. I think I've done it to one of the other ones as well. This one hit this one quite badly. That was my first driver. That I took to that course. Took this one again. On my new, my new driver. Took this one. Smacked the same rock again. Little tiny dent. This one's nice though. Black handle, good grip. Love it. Put the shock back on it. Put the shock back on it, Daniel. God. Grip it between my knees. There we go. Right. Then we've got my little vantage drawer. There we go. Little tiny one. There's where I hit it. With that rock, this is a lot bigger dent because I smacked it a lot harder. But uh, didn't mean to do that. Nice handle, good grip. Use this one quite a lot. So it served me well. Got a little clicker on the case. Don't know why I've got that. Don't know what it's for. Maybe someone can let me know in the comments below. If you can, drop a comment and I'll reply to as many as I can. And I'll let you know I've acknowledged it by leaving you a like. Okay. Last driver, my new driver. Got this this morning on the video on the morning of this video being filmed. So, morning of the I can't remember the date. I believe it's the thirtieth today. Correct me if I'm wrong. I believe this is the thirtieth. I'll have a look when I publish the video. So, I got this on the morning of the thirtieth. This is a really nice driver. I really do like this one. This is a Mizuno, I think it's called. Mizuno driver, nice one. Got a few adjustable bits on there, just keep me in check. Really nice white handle, bit of silver detail in there. Beautiful grip there, lovely. Never slips, can't even barely move my fingers off it. It's a fairly big driver for my little bag, but it's got this really nice shape. Everyone seems to dig, if you know what I mean. But uh, yeah, I really do like this one got a really long wool on the sock don't know why that's there maybe it's just me being stupid but once again somebody knows why it's so long drop me a comment because i don't play the golf i don't learn about the clubs or anything but if somebody knows why this has got such a long sock on it drop a comment let me know and i'll acknowledge as many as i can anyway moving on to the woods let's get them out three of them yeah here we go so we're starting off, These are, there's two pine seeker titanium alloys and one 
special forward which I'll start with. This is a forward, wooden head on it. Um, not many of these around anymore, I think they stopped producing them. But uh, I managed to pick one up from a second hand shop. Um, yeah, I've used it. I use it quite a lot of the driving range, I like to use it because it's a lot, it's got a weight to it. Whereas these ones you can't really feel much weight. But this one you can definitely feel that there's weight on the end. So it's quite nice, I quite enjoy it. Then we've got these two, Pontinger Titanium Alloys. We have a 3 wood and a 5 wood. Same club, same handle, same grip. Nice ones though. Could do, grips could do with wax enough I think. I think it's these two. Yeah, these grips could do with a bit of wax on them, but that's a job for another day. There you go, these two, really nice gloves. Drop them upside down. Pontinger Titanium Alloy. I've used these, I've used a 3 wood quite a lot on a course in Yorkshire. Five one I'm going to get some use out of in the up and coming year. Putters. Close combat weapons. So, I've got a Dunlop one. How do you know? Two Dunlop ones. A little one. This is my little putter. Got a nice little shape on it. Uh, proper tiny. But, uh, big enough for what I need it to be. This is the one I use and I've got like quite a long putt. Because I feel like I'm more accurate with the littler one than this bigger one. But I like this one when I've got like a really long putt to make. Because I feel like I can hit it better and more accurately with this one. But that's just me. Some people are different. Everyone's different. This one is a lot bigger than the little one. Still not got a nice fit there. It's got a milled head on it. Milled face, sorry. Milled face. So, no idea what that's for. Once again, if you know why it's got a milled face on it and what it does, drop a comment. Let me know. Because I'm dumb. This one is my little, no, my bigger putter, and I use this for the little short putts where it's just like a little tink and a tap in. But I do like this one, I've used it quite a lot. But uh, well, as I say, everyone's different, everyone has different preferences. So now we'll go on to the wedges. Three of them, bog standard wedges, apart from one of them, which is a 60 degree wedge, which I'll come on to. Starting off with the Regal Pitching Wedge. TC, TC007, black handle, nice grip, plenty of wax on that, I think I did that one the other day. That lovely bit of wax on that, nice club, beautiful thing, even got the cover for it and all. Not got many covers, but this is the one that I do have. Don't ask me why, there you go. Pitching wedge, not with the PW. Next, bog standard, Pine Seeker Overdrive, Pine Seeker. Is it overdrive or oversize? Pine Seeker Oversize Sand Wedge. So these I like to use the Pine Seeker um Pine Seeker Oversize clubs because they've got like a they've got like a thicker thicker bit of metal on the face. So it can withstand like a lot harder hits. So they take more of a beating than some of the others. So I like to use these because sometimes I can be a bit clumsy with my hits. So I like to use this because then I can know I've got like a big enough stand up. So it can allow me to hit harder shots. Because I know that it will take it. And this can take a beat in and not scuff it up or mess it up or anything. So I like to use the Pine Seeker Oversize because they've got the thicker metal. Take more of a beat in. There's some other competitive clubs. Finally, 60 degree copper wedge. Really nice this one. Got a really thin bit of metal there. I like the shape of it. So this is the back. That's what you hit. Lovely thick bit of metal for what you hit. Copper. Good handle. Grip. Not even had to wax and I got it two years ago. Used it a lot, not even had to wax the grip. Really pleased with the way this one turned out. Love it. Quite hard to get hold of them. When you do find them, they're quite expensive. And finally, the last set of clubs in the bag. The irons. So we'll start with this one, just because it's on the top, no particular preference. They've all got the same grip and the same handle, so I'll just show you the grip. So, same as the woods. That we've been through same handles the woods pines eco oversize has it in there a little worksy bit this is my three like three iron so i've used this one a lot and i mean a lot this seems to be one of my bigger ones but uh, i'm really comfortable with this club used it quite a lot in yorkshire when i went on holiday and went to a little golf course really nice this one do quite like it a lot do use it a lot, as you can tell. Still got a bit of grass on the bottom there. That's a bit of artificial turf from when I went to the driving range to try this thing out. But, yeah, it does need a bit of a clean up. 
I do like it. I don't have to wax the handle on these because I did the full set of these a while ago. Next one. Actually, we'll go in order. Three, four, five. So we're on the four, four iron. Same stuff, same spec. Pine seeker in there. Nice club head on it. Not use this one much. Would like to get some more use out of it though. Good club. Same handle, same grip. Now to wax this one for a while. But uh, yeah, do like this one a lot. Good competitive club these because they can take a beating. So you're always safe. Following the order pattern. Same grip, same handle. Five iron, as you can see. All my irons have got little numbers. Same with the wedges. So the pitching wedge has got PW on the head, like about there, and on the cover. Sand wedge has got an S there, and all the, they've got all the numbers here, so we've got a five. Five iron there. Beautiful thing. Use it a lot. Especially on hilly courses. From here, I believe. Yep, as you know. I follow the order. I thought it was my six iron, but it's not. This is my six iron. Got a nice cover with the six on it. Six iron, it's again, got the six written on it there. When I first got this, I mistook it for my nine iron. I was like, oh, well, this is my nine iron, obviously. Same handle, same grip. So I put it, so I put it as my nine iron, and I put the six cover on the nine. Shouldn't have done that. Should have looked at it, because what you'll notice is, the six is like that, the nine is the other way, written on it, and I didn't realise that. So, you know, but there you go, six iron. Haven't used this one much. Got a bit of mud on it, but I haven't used it much. And then seven, right here. Seven iron, used a lot at the driving range, a lot of artificial on there. Used it quite a lot as well, quite muddy. Used it on a wet course once, never cleaned it. But uh, I'm giving all the clubs a wash when I've got them all out of the bag now, so it's all good. Not put it in the video though, it's quite boring. But there you go, seven iron, eight iron. In the cover, boom. Not got cover for all these, don't know why I have some, just acquired some over the time that I've been golfing. A lot of artificial on there, used it a lot at the driving range. Used this a lot at the at the course in Yorkshire that I went to. Uh, the nice little number eight there. But uh nice club this. One of my pref one of my preferred clubs, I think. Yeah. Finally, the last club of the bag. Boom. Same grip, same handle, bang, 9-iron. And you can see how the 9 is the other way around from the 6. Same spec, lovely club, love it. But, uh, yeah, so, there you go, that's all my club. Next video, going to record it today, upload it maybe tomorrow, or I might, if you're lucky, upload it today. But, uh, there we go, that's, what's the, cl that's what the club's inside my bag. Next video, we'll go through the rest of it. There's going to be some stuff in here that I didn't even know I had. But there we go. So I want to thank you all for watching. Please like and subscribe if you're new. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss another video. I'm going to be posting all sorts of videos. Construction, bricklaying, bit of woodwork. Bit of golf, I can help it. And um, there you go. Hope you enjoyed the video. Leave leave a like and comment on the stuff that I've asked you for. Go back through the video if you missed any of it. But uh, yeah. Hope you all have a good day. Bye.